super winter activity that's going to fly compared to the rest? Well, it all starts on the runway. Let's go check it out. If you want to take your winter activity to another level, you have to visit Mid-Island Flight School. Founded in 1946, this unique destination offers a variety of activities, both in the sky and on the ground. You know, it's a fun activity, it's, uh, it's a challenge, and it's pretty cool to say I'm a pilot, you know, 1% of the population of pilots, so it's a pretty special field to be in. It is a high uh, regulation, but actually it's not too far away from you. Whether you're young or old, a professional or amateur, the Mid-Island Flight School can help your dreams take flight. And if you're in the market for a plane, you won't want to miss it either. Vice President Gail Mancuso tells us what we can expect when visiting. We are a full-service FBO, which means we do a little bit of everything. We are flight school, we rent airplanes, we maintain them, we store them, uh, we fuel them. So we're kind of like a marina for airplanes. So uh, within the flight school, um, we teach people all ratings from the private pilot up through all the ratings that they to prepare themselves for an airline career. Here in the U.S., there's a demand for pilots. Now is a very good time to learn how to fly. You'll never know, your passion could turn into your profession. While you sit back and relax as a passenger, the real fun comes in the pilot seat. But it's not just about getting from point A to point B. Sometimes the magic happens during the journey. So there's a lot of things that you can incorporate the flying into other sports and other activities that people like to do. There's a lot of places you can fly to to go have dinner. So it's pretty special when you can hop in an airplane and go fly to another airport, another state, have dinner and come home. We actually had a marriage proposal over Manhattan in one of our flights. That is so cool. Um, guy totally surprised her. We had, had it all planned, so as they flew over Manhattan, a charter flight over Manhattan, he popped the question, she said yes, we already had an open bottle of champagne. The North America Flight Academy has taken classes here as well. They also bring the sports to an international audience. NAFA's CEO Angela tells us more. Right now the airspace in China is limited. It's not as, you know, everyone who wanted to fly, you can fly the aircraft. Like in US and Europe, especially in New York, it is really, you know, free. You know, we, uh, we arrange a, uh, sort of like events, including the three-in-one fly experience, which you, you know, try today. And uh, we also do skydiving, glider ride, the seaplane ride. So we do this for fun. Uh, they could spend their weekends or holidays, buy this for their friends or even for themselves. And of course, you know, to try the, you know, uh, the actual fly, Really, there's no age limitation. As long as you have a heart you want to try, you know, our arm is open. You know, we welcome everyone. After hearing about so many exciting experiences, I can't wait to give it a try. On the road to becoming a pilot, you need some instruction, at least I do. What do you recommend, Gail? Well, let me introduce you to Dave Schreiber, one of our flight instructors. Hi, Dave. David, nice Christy. to meet you. Christy, nice to meet you. Well, I am actually one of the primary flight instructors here. I am actually fully certified as a flight instructor, so I can teach pilots in single engine airplanes, multi-engine airplanes, and under instrument weather conditions. There's maps, there's weather information, there's a whole lot of information to really learn and study about before you become a pilot. I'm going to be like a little flying sponge. I'm just going to have to like soak all of this in and, and I didn't realize that there were so many facets of, yep. of this lesson. Due to the weather, we couldn't have a real flight, but I'm going to try the next best thing, the simulator. If weather conditions aren't up to par, which sometimes they're not during the winter, then you get to hop in one of these. What is this, David? This is a Redbird flight simulator. It's approved by the FAA for us to train in. It's actually a really good training tool on a bad weather day to come in here and not cancel the lesson. You know, surprise, okay. per se. Excellent. All right, let's go hop in there, shall we? Sure. Right. Okay, you're going to sit in the pilot seat. Oh, yeah. The simulator was the best of both worlds, memorable and educational. There were so many different buttons and controls, and I have a huge respect for pilots and how they take off and land safely. Oh, oh Lord. You got it. Nice and easy. All right, you can pull the power all the way out. Hook, pull the nose up more. Oh, no. oh, Lord. Now that I have successfully landed a plane, a simulated plane, it's time for me to check out the real deal. So I've got Dave, and he's going to show me inside. I like being able to see, though, all of the um, gauges and switches in real life. This is how it appears when you drive. You also get the 360 view of, of what's going on all around you. So it was perfect to start with the simulator and then 
And now we now we have the real deal. I wish I could go up in the sky, but there will be another time and place for that. Well, we look forward to having you back, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the opportunity to actually fly the airplane. You'll be able to see the big differences in how it handles, and you'll actually see, you know, depending on the type of day that we go out on, the way wind reacts with the airplane. Mm -hmm. As we've seen today, fun winter activities don't just need to happen on the ground, they can also happen in the sky. And you'll be flying into a new season before you know it. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clemens.